Hello, I'm Jessica and I want to talk to you about some of the different cloth diaper types out there. Um, when I decided that I wanted to cloth diaper, I was so overwhelmed and people were using terminology that I had no idea um, what any of it meant. Uh, the last time that I had been around cloth diapers was when one of my brothers was cloth diapered and I was only eight. So um, I had no idea how much cloth diapering had evolved. Um, so I just thought I would put together a video of just kind of some of the things that are out there so that you can kind of have an overview of um, what options are available because everyone's cloth diapering journey is different. There is no one size fits all, um, what's best for everybody, the best brand, the best kind, the best routine. Um, it really depends on your particular needs. Um, sorry, my baby's playing in the back and play over there. Um, so anyway, um, it really depends on your cloth diapering journey, your needs, your living situation, your washer, your dryer, your, you know, how often you go out, how often you have sitters. There's so many different kinds of things that matter. Um, heavy wetters, just all sorts of things. So let me just kind of give you an overview so that you have an idea and then you can hopefully make the best decision for your family. Okay, so the most common cloth diaper type out there, I think, is probably pocket diapers. Um, this one is Wink. I really love Wink. I use mostly Wink diapers. Um, I love that it's owned by a mom who is a cloth diapering mom. I love that, um, that she packs the orders, like she sends them from one of the Carolinas. I can't remember, I think North Carolina. Um, and so I really love that. I love the quality. I love the price point. Um, you can buy really expensive diapers. You can buy super cheap diapers. I don't recommend either. <laughs> um, usually the two really expensive diapers aren't gonna last you really much longer than a mid-grade diaper. And the cheap, cheap diapers will have problems, leaks, uh, cracks in the waterproofing. Um, they, you know, they're made in massive, massive quantities overseas. They're sold for a couple dollars a diaper. And honestly, you're just not going to get as good of an experience. I believe there are some moms who really love those. I personally don't love them. Um, I have not had issues with leaks and blowouts like other moms. Hang on, I'll be right back because my kid is learning to sit and he just went in the pack and play. Okay, I'll be right back. Um, okay, so where were we? Pocket diapers. <laughs> Pocket diapers, this one is, like I said, from Wink. Um, and there are also sized diapers. I do not own sized diapers because we live in an RV. Um, and so therefore I need the one size diapers because I can't afford to store um, multiple different sizes of diapers and have an entire stash in every size. So for me, one size diapers are totally where it's at. Um, it just depends on you. Uh, I do recommend newborn diapers with every fiber of my being if you plan to cloth diaper from the beginning stages. One size diapers just don't seem to fit little, little babies, unless they're super chunky. Mine was kind of actually scrawny. He was a big baby, but he was skinny legged for a while. Then he learned to breastfeed and it was like game over. <laughs> so uh, if you have a skinny baby, uh, which is kind of hard to predict, but newborn diapers just fit really well. You don't get those horrible blowouts like you do with disposables. Uh, I, I just really recommend having a small newborn stash. You don't need an entire newborn stash, but I do recommend having a small one. Okay, so these are one size. <laughs> there we go again, hang on. <sighs> okay, <laughs> now one size diapers means that you can adjust. So let me show you what a pocket diaper means. A pocket diaper just means that there's a lining of some sort and then a pocket that you can stuff. Now, so people talk about stuffing diapers. That's because it takes quite a bit of work. These are three layers. Um, bamboo and hemp is what I currently use for his overnights and I'll go over those in a little bit too. But it takes quite a bit of work to stuff this. So um, I personally don't love pockets for this reason. I do love his overnight ones just because I can have them ready to go. Um, anyone can put them on. These are what I would use for sitters if my baby will ever take a bottle. Um, but it does take quite a bit of finesse to get it all tucked in there and ready. And that was, this is after learning the best method for like spreading my hands and trying to move it through. So it does take a little bit of work to do that. Um, and so that's why I'm not like the world's biggest fan of pockets. Um, also you have to unstuff them when they're wet or poopy <laughs> before you put them into your wet bag. And I don't love that. So, um, that's why I'm not the world's biggest pocket fan. 
but these are customizable. They're really good for caregivers. So let's say you put your kid in daycare, um, you need to have diapers ready to go if you want to cloth diaper your kid through daycare, right? So for care providers, this is gonna be the easiest thing. You just have it ready to go. They literally slap it on like a disposable. No big deal. Um, they will not unstuff when they put it in your wet bag though, so that means you have to go through and do that later, which is not fun. Um, so that's, these are the most common, they're just really quick, they're simple. They're very, very simple. With one sized diapers, this is what this means. You can use the full size or you can snap these. What you doing? He's like, mom, you're playing with my diapers. You can snap these like this and it will size the diaper smaller. And then you can even put this, let's see, it's been a while since I did this. Let's see if I can do this right. You snap all of these up to where they overlap so you can, size it down to this small. Now, they don't fit as well like this, but you can size it down a lot. So that's why I like one size diapers. You just adjust as the kid grows instead of having to pull out the next size. Another style of pocket, so that was Wink. This is Rumparoos by Kanga Care. Um, I do like this brand as well. Um, they don't seem to fit my child as well. <laughs> They're not as big. The good news about these though is these will go very, very small. Um, this is the OBV Organic Bamboo Velour um, lining. I like it. I love double gussets in all of my stuff, by the way. These really do make a difference and the super cheap diapers do not have double gussets. They make a difference when it comes to blowouts. I mean, it really does matter. So this right here, um, the pocket is a little bit different. I actually don't love that the pocket is just open on most pocket diapers. I love that this folds over. Um, it makes it a little less convenient for stuffing, but I really like it for unstuffing and things like that um, and for staying in place. So this one has a little bit different of an insert. You can snap and change it up. Um, you can also use pre-folds in these. So you can use kind of whatever insert you choose. So this is kind of what this looks like and then you snap. So these are not necessarily good for chunky leg kids though. They're not huge for huge leg holes. I do like these though. They're just nice diapers. So as far as inserts go, you can use a pre-fold in a pocket diaper. It works just as well. Um, I like these though because they're very thin and very absorbent. I do not recommend microfiber inserts at all. I love microfiber <laughs> for certain things. Diaper inserts is not one of them. Um, this is bamboo. You can kind of see maybe the thickness there a little bit. Um, it's not very thick compared to like microfiber, but it is very absorbent. It's very soft. Now the hemp is super thin. You can't probably really tell on camera, but it is much thinner than even the bamboo. Um, yeah, you can't really tell, but it's much thinner than the bamboo and it is super absorbent. So currently my kid, he's been a heavy wetter from like day two. <laughs> um, day one was great. <laughs> day two, three, you know, and so on, not so much. So he has to use three of these in his overnight diaper and he soaks through them. So we'll probably be adding another one here in a little bit. So that's what I like about inserts though, because for the thickness of say one prefold, I can fit probably two or three times the absorbency of a prefold. There is also a diaper called an all-in-one. This is a side snap one. Most of them go from back to front, but this one wraps around the side. So it's just a little bit different, but it's the same concept. So an all-in-one diaper means you don't have to stuff anything. You do usually have to snap. Sometimes though, they come sewn in. Um, and these just go all together. So you have your layers of absorbency and then you just wrap it around your kid and snap and go. Pros to this diaper, it's all there. It's just all ready to go. Um, cons to this diaper, I don't really love the fit. Um, I don't love all these like weird layery things sticking out weird. Um, I don't like washing them. And also you have, you cannot like change up. Like if you have pocket diapers, you can change your inserts to mix and match that kind of thing usually, but these you have to use whatever came with it. Like that's it. 
sometimes they're sewn in, they take longer to dry. And then also you have to put the whole thing in the dryer or hang it to dry and it just, you know, shortens the life of your uh, diaper. So I don't love these. I think they're awkward and bulky. They do have their place. Like if you want a really cute diaper and it only comes in an all in one. So some people love them. I personally don't, don't recommend them and they're very, very expensive. So my favorite type of diaper are pre-folds and covers. So a pre-fold is this and what it is is it's tons of layers of thin fabric but it's stitched together so that you have a, the bulk of the layers in the middle and then less on the, on the sides. And so this is a little newborn one. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I forget how small these are. <laughs> like when I was using them they didn't seem that small and now they're tiny compared to what I use now. So what you do is you fold it like this. This is called a pad fold because um, you know it just makes a pad and then you can just insert it so you can either lay it behind your baby and just wrap it like put it up over them and then put the diaper cover over them you can do all sorts of nifty little folds you know wrap it up around them and then tuck these around and use um, this thing is called a snappy and you can you know use this to hold it in place I personally didn't love these because um, when my kids started getting like chunky legs it was harder to wrap around and these weren't quite reaching so it was kind of ending up like you know I was stretching the whole thing and then I was just basically losing all my absorbency by wrapping all this so my favorite is a pad fold um, I don't love just pad folding it into regular covers though so I do love the wink covers for this reason look how bright this is. Um, so the wink covers have that same little flap that the pocket diapers do and they have this flap back here and this holds the pad folded pre-fold in as if it's already pre-stuffed like a pocket but it's so much easier. So you just literally, I have these all ready to go. I keep them stored like this so they're ready to grab. Now the cool thing about this is first of all you don't have to unstuff so when they poop you just toss it in the wet bag and because it's loose enough it will come out in the wash and get clean and unfold now when your baby pees you can take this out and wipe out the cover and just kind of lay it on something I usually put it on our wipes warm or something and it will air dry in time for the next diaper so I usually cycle through two at a time until I have a poopy then I throw the whole thing in the wet bag and grab a new diaper so that means you actually get away with using less covers which is really nice um, and it's less expensive. So I adore covers with every fiber of my being. They also come in cute prints, you know, things like this. You can change it up. They're pretty adorable. I mean, they're, they're sinking cute. Uh, they're still fairly low profile. They're still fairly trim versus some of the others are going to be a lot bulkier. Um, like these ones I found are pretty bulky. Um, all in ones are pretty bulky. Uh, that kind of thing. Pockets with stuffed with inserts are pretty bulky, but these are pretty, pretty trim, which I like. Um, and they're just easy to go. So wink diapers have, uh, the diaper covers. These are just covers. Um, they have that pocket system. Um, some of them are called all in twos or hybrids elsewhere. You can kind of find some of them similar. This is a Nikki's diaper cover and it has a similar flap system. It's not as secure though. So it's less easy to pre stuff. Um, whereas I feel like the wink diapers just pre-stuff really easily. So those are my favorite things for that. Again, this is a larger pre-fold. Now this is a bamboo blend pre-fold because again, my kid is a heavy wetter. You can use cotton ones. So I will include like links and descriptions and stuff of, of the stuff that I like. These are oh so cozy bamboo blend pre-folds and I really, really love them. They are a great absorbency. Um, I use the little ones that we can't use anymore for diapers. I use them for drool rags and they're amazing. So very, very absorbent, very soft as well. The last type of diaper that I want to talk to you about, and this isn't really like everything, there are a million different variations of all these, but these are kind of the basics, are flat diapers. So this one is already folded. So what you would do is, let me see if I can demonstrate this. This comes up, oops. This comes up over your diaper, your baby. So the back goes here. You wrap this around their front. Then you wrap this and you wrap this. And then this is a snappy. Like I said, and these, so this you just stretch and it holds and then stretch and it grips and holds it into place for them. So you do this and then you need a cover that will go around it. So for these, I actually love Nikki's diaper covers a lot. 
Um, I also love the Wink diaper covers, but the Nikki's diapers do really well with like the flat folding cloth diapers. Um, again, this is one size, so he still isn't all the way unsnapped, which is nice. He's getting close though. <laughs> um, and I just really love the way they fit over flat cloth diapers. They have the double gussets, which is so nice. Sorry, this is hard to see because it's black. But anyway, so I really, really love how they fit. And again, you can take out your wet diaper, wipe the, you know, inside of the cover, leave it to hang to dry, and then switch it out, that kind of thing. So flat cloth diapers are basically pre-folds, but not folded and stitched. <laughs> so this is what happens. This is a bamboo pre-fold and I, um, a bamboo flat. This is a bamboo flat. And I really love them because again, better absorbency. So this is wink. They're also stretchy, so they're a lot more forgiving. And again, you can see it's kind of large and there's like kind of a teary side and then like a not, you know, the other side. Um, so I actually like this side because it's a little soft, uh, softer, and it actually holds the snappy better. It grips on the snappy. So that's what I personally love uh, to use. But anyway, so these, the reason you would use these are um, they're easier to fit better around your baby's legs and things like that. And they also wash and dry faster, <laughs> much faster, because with this, you have multiple layers of cloth but this you have just the one layer. So in the wash, of course it unfolds and it washes really, really well. Uh, you get all the layers of stuff out <laughs> and then it dries a lot faster. Whereas these take a lot longer to dry, especially if you're air drying. Um, in the trailer, I do air dry. Occasionally I try and do a load in the dryer so that I can get the quilting on my pre-folds to make it more absorbent and all that stuff. But I do line dry. So. I like things that dry a little faster. In Arizona, in the summer, it dries really fast, but I also like the option to dry inside if I want and have it dry faster. So that is um, a flat cloth diaper. So moving on to kind of the other accessories that you may want or need. Changing pads, I really like changing pads. We don't have a changing table because we live in an RV. Sometimes, you know, people don't want a changing table even if they don't live in an RV. You kind of change the baby wherever you can. With cloth diapers, you'll probably have some sort of station though where you have everything because it's a little bit more involved than just grabbing a diaper, a disposable diaper, and a pack of wipes. Um, but, you know. So these changing pads are from Kanga Care. I really, really love them. They have the waterproof backing, but they also have this absorbent, um, it's micro chamois is what they call it. And so it really absorbs. If you have a peer or a boy, um, this is very, very good. <laughs> so I really love these changing pads. They're a nice, generous size and they're, you know, fluffy and a little bit padded. So like if you're, you know, putting your kid on a hard changing surface or on those hard changing pad, changing table things in the restrooms, this is really, really great for that. So I highly recommend these. You wash them just like you would your regular cloth diapers. Um, they're not super bulky. Uh, they do take up a fair amount of room in the diaper bag, but they are so, so useful. So I do recommend those. Um, wet bags, you will need wet bags or a diaper pail or some sort of system to keep your cloth diapers the soiled cloth diapers until wash day. Now, everyone washes differently. I wash every day because we have a tiny washer and if I don't wash every day, I will end up with too many cloth diapers to wash in one sitting. So I wash every day just because it's easiest. Um, I've been staying with some people, so therefore I wash probably about every two to three days because they have a normal capacity washer, which is really great. Um, so it just depends on you and it also depends on your lifestyle. It depends on, you know, how much you wanna do. So. Wet bags are how I choose to store my diapers just because it's so much easier. He's not on solids yet, though we're getting there. So we may switch to a different system depending on how things go, depending on how his poop looks and all that kind of stuff. Um, Cause rinsing and spraying is like a thing. And I'll try and do some more videos on that once we kind of get into the more rinsing spraying stage. Um, some kids poop is always ploppable. and You don't even have to rinse. So that's nice. Some people use liners, but I'll get into that in a different video. So anyway, wet bags are what we've currently chosen to use. This one is a nice big wet bag by Kanga Care. So you can fit a fair amount. I like having, they, most wet bags have some sort of little strap thing. So you can put it around either a hook. Um, if you're on the go, you can put it around your diaper bag. 
uh, or maybe your stroller, whatever works best for you. So this is a wet bag, it's waterproof on the inside, so you can put your soiled diapers in this until wash day. And then what you do is you just dump the whole thing in the washer, put the wet bag in the washer and wash it along with your diapers. It's really, really great. Um, travel size wet bags are what you want for your diaper bag. So this will hold a few diapers, probably about three, four, sometimes five, depending on what you're using for your diapering system and that kind of thing and how full you want to stuff it. Um, so I carry this one with me in my diaper bag and <laughs> good job, buddy. Way to take a face plant. He kind of fell forward and then did his like, oh, okay. And he looked up and then, you know, realized he's got to like figure it out. Okay. So this is a great wet bag for the diaper bag. Um, and again, cause you'll just store your diapers. It is a new and different concept to store your diapers and take them home with you uh, rather than throw them away. But honestly, it's easier because how many times have you been out with disposables and there's nowhere to throw your diaper away. So you end up trying to hopefully put your dirty diaper in the diaper bag. And if you don't carry plastic bags with you, then you just have an open dirty diaper and you're trying to like not let it get all over everything. And even if it's in a plastic bag, it starts to stink really bad. It still kind of mushes out even through the plastic bag it's just really not great so this honestly in my opinion is just easier you just throw it in the bag and go next thing that you may want is cloth wipes now i used disposable wipes for a while what i didn't like <laughs> is how not well they worked it's you just use like so many wipes for poop and everything and then also i had to have a garbage bag for my dirty wipes and i had to like empty it often so that was kind of a pain and I'm like, okay, so then I had to have my wet bag for my diapers and then a trash pail for my wipes. And it was just kind of like actually very inconvenient, which you would think the disposable wipes would be more convenient. It was not. So I decided to switch to cloth wipes and this is the first kind that I got and it's still my favorite. It's bamboo. It's double-sided. It's two layers of bamboo. It's actually the same uh, material as the flat cloth diapers. And so I like it, it's thick enough, it is a nice size. Um, and these again are from Wink. So I just fold them and I put them in a wipes warmer like this. I get them wet, I squeeze out the excess water and I just put them in the wipes warmer. These are amazing. Um, a friend made me these and I also really like these. Um, I don't have the capacity to make these. So um, I have the ones that she made and they go through our cycle. And so it's just terry cloth on one side and flannel on the other. They're really nice. It's nice to have the double sides. If you need a little more scrubbing power, um, that will probably come more with solids. But uh, right now his runny poop is pretty good. And this side is really nice and soft for them. So you just wipe and go. So again, I just fold, get wet and put in the wipes warmer. These I like for on the go. These are actually Norwex microfiber. They're made to wash your face and body. Um, I like them because they're a micro suede, so they're soft, but they really work well because they're high quality microfiber. I like them for my diaper bag because they're really thin. So if I need to take, say eight wipes, this is gonna go a lot longer than this or this. So you can see even scrunched down, these are much, much thicker. So they take up a lot of space. These, I can fit a million in my bag because they're so thin. So you kind of see how thin they are. So I really do like those. Um, Norwex microfiber is a little expensive. I ended up getting a bunch of these for a relatively good price because I'm a consultant. So it worked out for me and I don't love these for my face. I use a different cloth for my face that they make. Um, so these work really well and they're soft on my baby's butt. It's great. So those are the cloth wipes that I like. And again, these are nice because what you do is you're, you know, washing your baby, you take the wipe, you wipe out your cover, you know, you've already washed your baby. You take this wipe and you throw it in the wet bag along with your soiled diaper and you just wash all your wipes along with your diapers. There's no extra step, there's no extra pail. It's really amazing, it's so amazing. And because you use the wipes with your diapers, you're gonna end up with basically the amount of wipes that you need with the amount of diapers that you wash. And so it's just kind of a great cycle. So that is kind of the basics of cloth diapering. There's a lot more to it. Um, I'll do some videos on like cloth diapering on the go, um, you know, that kind of thing. Traveling with cloth diapers I recently did washing them in a bathtub in a pail it's been an adventure so I'll have more of those but uh, hopefully this kind of gives you an overview and it has kind of just kind of some basics to get you started so that you understand what people are saying so just a quick overview again is this is a one size cover or an OS is what people will abbreviate one size to OS cover 
And then we have the all-in-one or AIO, you'll see it abbreviated. And then a pocket diaper. And there are multiple kinds. So I wanna see like what kind you want. Um, pocket diaper insert, there's bamboo, hemp, microfiber insert, flat cloth diaper, pre-fold. Um, and I think that's about it. So anyway, hopefully that helps. And again, let me know if you have any questions. I love to help people with cloth diapering. It's been really, really great for us. Um, my baby has a lot of sensitivities. So occasionally when we use disposables for a day of washing or for behind or something, um, he can only handle like one or two disposables at a time. We can't usually do an entire day because he starts to get redness and break out and he's actually really allergic to most of the elastics as well. So cloth diapering has been amazing for us. We don't get blowouts. We don't get leaks. Um, because we use high quality diapers, but we also don't pay too much for them. So I've been really, really enjoying our journey. He has explosive poops and he is a heavy wetter. So in disposables, I've had blowouts and just they're full. Like I have to change him like every half to one hour in a disposable. Um, so these have been really, really a great investment and blessing for us. So I hope that it works out for you. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. I love cloth diapering and I love to answer any questions that I can. All right. Thanks guys.